Hello, it is the start of April, the 1st of April today and the start of a brand new studio vlog. So if you watched the last studio vlog, I think I finished that at the beginning of the week. And that one was all about the success I had with sticker making on the Monday, which was really great. And I think I unboxed one of the um, items that I received in the post. So since then, it has been crazy busy in the shop and I just haven't done much filming. And then on the, let's think, on Friday, yesterday, I did a sale and a, like a flash sale on the website, which was like the first time I've ever done like a flash sale website only. And it was kind of a test for my social media power. And I wanted to see what would happen if I promoted a sale exclusively through Instagram and Facebook and nowhere else. And yeah, I did a small business diaries vlog of, all about that and why a bit more about sort of why I did the flash sale and what I learned from it and things. So if you're interested in finding out more about that, then head over and take a look at the small business diaries vlog all about my flash sale uh, that I'll pop a link down below so you can go and hear a bit more about that. But what I'm doing this afternoon, I've closed the shop. It's now around half past four and I have had such a busy week in the shop that it's meant that I haven't been able to do lots of sort of the bits and pieces that related to my products, my own products, um, during the day. So I haven't been able to get things like these new pin badges that are um, just that have just recently arrived. I haven't managed to get them sort of onto their backing cards or photoed and onto the website or anything like that. I did consider doing a special like launch day and I thought because I've seen lots of people doing really successful launches recently so um, some companies they choose to sort of hold products back and then do big marketed launches online now for me I've not done that sort of thing before because normally I put it out in the shop and then it sells really well in the shop and then I'll get round to photoing it and put it onto the website uh, I'm not sure if it's something I will do in the future like big shop launches or whether I'll just continue doing things the way that I'm doing them launching them gradually once I've got them onto the website and onto Etsy and then just letting people know about the products when they're there. The idea of like a themed launch or a one-off special launch appeals to me, but I just don't think that I've got the social media following to make those work, if that makes sense. I think you need a really good community following you, a really good social media following for like special launches to work and be as successful as the ones you see online. And I'm quite honest and open about the fact that you know, my business is, although I've had the business for 10 years and I have the shop and everything successful in that sense, I'm still really new to the online world and I've only done Art and Design by KB online on the new Etsy and the website. I've only had those things running now since January 2023, so I'm building it up and hopefully slowly putting together like a community of people who like what I do and want to support me and things, but I don't think I'm quite ready yet to do these sort of big special launches. So in the meantime, I'm just launching the products as and when they're ready and sort of marketing them the best I can. And this is a new selection of pin badges. Uh, so obviously I always tell my patrons first before I launch them anywhere, before I tell you guys on here and before I put them onto social media or anywhere else, I tell my patrons first all about the products in the design process sometimes or when they arrive. And, and there'll be occasions where also I'll ask them for their feedback and things. So for example, these pin badges here, I wasn't 100% happy with how they turned out so initially I felt like the colours were a bit muted in comparison to how they came out when I did like the stickers so this is the B grade bundle I wonder if there's like a good example of it I felt a little bit like the blue isn't representative enough of the blue that I've used in the design so this is much more reflective of the design the way that I made it and so this is my, this is a B-grade sticker, by the way, which is why it's got this at the top. This is my sticker. This is my like in-house printed sticker. This is a professional printer's version. And in all honesty, I don't know how I feel about that quality. I don't feel like the blue is, is the right blue. I don't know why that's happened because I've always been really happy with the pin badges that I have received from this company. I mean, they're still cute, don't get me wrong. They are still super, super cute. I'm hoping that this will focus and you can see. So don't get me wrong, 
they are super cute they're just not true to the colorways that i had wanted them to be so i have a small batch of these and i will pop them onto the website and etsy but i think if i was to do a, like a reprint run of these i might ask them to change the color tone of the back the sky in these and so um, i'm sorry if you can hear this chair is so squeaky it's really frustrating um so the backgrounds of these cards as well are something that i was unsure on originally i designed this sort of more spring vibe thing because this is like the spring vibes collection it's all part of the spring vibes collection but then i remembered something that one of my patrons my lovely patrons said to me was they felt like it would be better if my backing cards had sort of less fuss to them and it would help the pin badges stand out so i took that on board and i sort of toned down what was on the backing card and hopefully hopefully you'll like them and they help these pin badges to stand out now this is actually only half of the pin badges that i wanted to launch in april i've got another four designs that i want to be launching in april and so i'm waiting for those to arrive those will have their own backing cards because they are slightly different in their design and they will have a different theme to them but i I just I ordered the first lot and then I forgot that I had special plans for these other pin badges so I put that order in at the same time and thankfully because they've been selling so well in the in the shop I had like that money set aside to get in the next batch of designs straight away so that was really handy so I have to now check these over so there have been quite a few damaged ones in this batch as well I'm just wondering if they've had just a really bad um, so you can see like where there's a hole in it here. I'm wondering if they've just had a really bad print run on these particular ones and so I'll reach out to the manufacturer and find out if that's what the, has happened and see if they can help me because as I say there's quite a few here that are um, not going to be able to be sold because they're damaged. I'm going to peel the rest of these off, check out how they are, see if they're good enough um, to sell, pop them on their backing cards and then those will be photographed, popped onto Etsy, popped onto the website and yeah we'll see how they go. I'm not as confident with these pin badges as I have been with all of my other designs and I think maybe I'll be a bit more confident with the next batch that arrive but um, let's cut some more backing cards, pop them on, take the photos and hope for the best. <music>
on and end the vlog here sorry i've been a bit quiet through this vlog and it's mostly been just seeing behind the scenes bits and pieces but it has been so busy in the shop because it's half term today while i'm filming this is friday the 7th of april it's my birthday um i've had some lovely birthday treats there's one thing that i really want to show you because it's one of my favorite things that i've had today and it's this beautiful coaster um and it's from i think lilac here lilac sky crafts um, so it's an Etsy shop and my friend Sam got me this and it's just beautiful. It goes completely with my studio vibe. So I'm really, really grateful for that one. And yeah, I've had lots of lovely presents and cards and messages. So thank you all so much. And thank you for watching this vlog. I hope you've enjoyed it. And again, sorry that it's been quite sort of a quiet one and not very interesting maybe for some people. Um, if you want to see how I've got to this stage and my journey, you can actually see the playlist of studio vlogs from one through to this one here. And it sort of shows you the journey that I've been on this year in 2023. And you'll be able to see sort of what happened and where we started doing all my arts and crafts and why I'm redoing the studio. And you'll probably notice things changing in the studio all the time. I've got this cute vase as well from my friend Sam, this one here. And I'm going to try and get some like those dried uh, fluffy flowers that you can get. So they're like forever lasting flowers. I'm going to try and get those for it because I think that would look wonderful in there. Uh, so, yeah, and then you're if you as i say <laughs> going off on a tangent again aren't i so if you want to see the journey that i have made uh through this year so far so we're in april april 7th and i started doing these studio vlogs back on the beginning of january this year and so you can just see, see me picking back up my arts and crafts and reopening art and design by kb and just my journey really back into art and design because I did take a break for quite a few years. And obviously you'll get to see some behind the scenes of the shop as well. And there's loads of, um, if you're interested in seeing sort of the journey with the shop, there's loads of old studio, there's loads of old shop tour videos too. So you can see old shop tour videos and then you'll see lots of clips of the shop and how it looks sort of now. And it has massively changed over the years. So I've had this shop since 2014. And you'll see things like walls have come down, um, office and the counters have moved loads of times. And it's just been a big changes over the years. But the art and design by KB journey only really started in January this year. And it's been interesting <laughs> and fun and I'm loving it. And I'm loving the community that I sort of feel like it's slowly being created here on YouTube and also on Instagram. I have to admit, a few videos ago, you may have seen me say how I wasn't enjoying Instagram. I didn't really understand it and I didn't feel like I was getting much traction over there. But actually I found an amazing supportive community of people who are just so lovely. And I'm treating Instagram now as a bit more of a networking place, place to chat to other people, meet other people, uh, fellow creatives. And I do share what I do, but I kind of give you a bit more of a not just a marketing tool. I'm not using Instagram just to market what I make and things. I'm using it much more as a community and connecting with people and sort of sharing my passion really. And I think that's helped because my Instagram numbers are slowly, very slowly, but they are increasing. So that's really positive. Um, anyway, I was going to end this vlog here, wasn't I? <laughs> and I've started chatting again, sorry. Uh, but thanks so much for watching. Please do give this video a thumbs up and a comment would be great and subscribe if you haven't already. I hope you're having a wonderful day and take care, guys. Bye.